solving quadratic equations by factorising. Now, I'm not going to go too much into factorising because that's really a grade B topic. Um, this equation here is a quadratic equation because it has an x squared term in it. It's not the easiest of quadratics because it's got a 2x squared. And it's not obviously a quadratic because you've got 3x on this side. But if we've got something with x squared and we try to solve it, it's a good idea to move everything to one side. So we get into the format of something squared, take the 3x over to this side, become minus 3x. We've got that minus 5, so that equals 0. So we're trying to get it into the form where it equals 0. And then we can uh, use a little tip with the factorising to get it to the answer. So we're looking to factorise this into a double bracket. Um, 2x squared. The only way we can make 2x squared by times in 2x by x. Um, we want to make minus 5. Um, the only really way we can do that is to do 1 times 5. Um, now we've got to think about how we can put this into this factor, this, these double brackets to get this when we multiply it out. So sometimes it helps to just draw yourself a little grid to think about what's going on here. So we've got 2x and x. That gives us our 2x squared. Now we want uh, a 1 and a 5, I think it was minus 5, so one of those is going to be negative. Um, so I'm going to try with the minus 5 first. Now you could just try different, different places for this, but uh, we, we want minus 5 here, and we want these two things to combine to give us minus 3x. So um, if I put the minus 1, uh, the 1 here and minus 5 there, I end up with 1x, which is x, and minus uh, 10x. Okay, that does not combine to give us minus 3, so that's no good. So let's try something else. Um, what if I put uh, the minus, uh, minus 5 here and a 1 here? So 1 lot of 2x is 2x, minus 5 lot of 2x is minus 5x, and minus 5 plus 2 is minus 3. So that gives us our two brackets, minus 2x, uh, minus 5, and x plus 1. Once we've got that, this is, this is the main part of this, is to fi figure out what makes this 0. Well, this whole, if this bracket equals 0, if this whole bracket equals 0, then 0 times whatever this is, it's going to be 0. So 2x minus 5 equals 0 is one solution. Or, if I made this bracket 0 by making x minus 1, then this whole thing will be 0 again. So x plus 1 equals 0 is another solution. This one, when uh, I try to solve it, a simple equation, I get 2x equals 5, which means x equals 5 over 2, which is 2.5 or 2.5. And when I solve this one, x must be equal to minus 1. So there's my two solutions, uh, 2 and a half and minus 1. So essentially to solve this, you've got to make it equal to 0, factorise into brackets, then each bracket's got to be 0.